All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my Skyrim Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Treasure Chest Home Mod, which was originally made by user Owlburgers for just regular old Skyrim and has been recently converted to Special Edition by Zequin Zin. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a Treasure Chest Player Home that I absolutely love. It's kind of weird, but it's literally a magical treasure chest you can have in your inventory that you can, I guess, shrink yourself down into magically. It's kind of strange, and the interior is not exactly my style, but... I just, I love the idea behind it, and it amuses me. So here we are, and let's uh, talk about what all we do get with the treasure chest. But first, we gotta talk about how you get it. Now, in the original, just normal Skyrim version, you go over to Dragon's Reach, and it's under the Enchanter there. But in the Special Edition, edition Conversion, you actually have to make it by just simply going to any forge in the world and building a treasure chest. Now, here's the one issue that I have with this thing. The basic standard download for this, it only requires one singular gold to make a magical player home, which seems way too little. Now, there is an alternate download, which I believe increases it to 99 gold, but still, I mean, that's, that's not a whole lot. You can get that pretty quick and have yourself a magical treasure chest that you can live inside of. So, you know, that's my one complaint about this, but if you just go ahead and make it, there we go. We now have a treasure chest in our inventory, and specifically, it's going to be living in the armor category, because for some reason, a magical treasure chest player home, you wear? <laughs> well, yes, so simply all we have to do to go in to this player home is click it and you'll be greeted on the inside by everything you need to actually have yourself a home. On one end of the treasure chest where inside of you can find an arcane enchanter, you can find an alchemy table, and also a very important map we'll talk about in a moment. Now on the other side, you've got mannequins, you've got uh, workbenches, smithies, all the things for general crafting, and just all along the walls, lots of weird decorations. Now, my personal favorite area is downstairs, and I guess you'd call the basement, where you have all the shrines you need. You can get any of the godly blessings you would like, and there's even some of the standing stones. But, most importantly, there's the cat in the box. A Khajiit merchant who, for some reason, you have also shrunk down and placed into this treasure chest player home. I love it. He is a functioning merchant with a ton of cash on hand for you to work with. And this place is just magnificent. Again, really not my sort of style, but I love the idea that it, we are inside of a treasure chest. And at first, I was kind of weirded out by things like the large tools, the fork, but you know, we're in a chest. This is, you know, supposed to be, I guess, all of our stuff inside, and we've shrunk down to make it into a home where, yeah, you've got everything you need, including the creepy mannequins who, God, gave me a little bit of a scare when I came in here because they did the glitch where they look at you. And, yeah, they're, they're staring right where I came into this thing in, and, oh, God. Why? Why do the mannequins do this to me? But yes, if we take a look over here on this side, you know, we've got our bed here for you to have a place to sleep. We've got an alchemy lab. We've got an arcane enchanter. And behind the enchanter, we do have a gem box with some things already loaded in for you to use. In fact, quite a few, actually. So uh, a nice little supply of soul gems there. We also, behind the Alchemy Lab, have a large selection of potions for you to just grab and go with, which is always nice. Now, we also do have the tanning rack here for your leathery needs. The two creepy, currently glitched out mannequins. We've got a workbench, we've got a grindstone, an anvil, a tiny smelter, and even though it's kind of a weird thing, I oddly love it, there's a cooking pot. 
on top of the tiny smelter. A very good use of space! We already got that thing going for, you know, smelting metal. Now you can also use it to cook. I love that. It's just, a, it's just an amusing little use of space there. Now, there is also the giant light bug in a jar here who we sadly cannot take. I mean, he's just always there. I'm trying to hit E and we cannot interact with that. Granted, I don't know why you would want to. He's kind of an important light source in here besides that lantern over there. Now, also some cool things, as you can see here, we've got some blacksmith supplies, a nice little chest down there, again, with a lot of materials preloaded in for you to use, and then we have a number of safes for you to use as well for safe storage, as well as a pair of crafting gloves for you to enjoy, just kind of sitting on the table there, and uh, are quite nicely enchanted to increase smithing alchemy and enchanting by 125%. And frankly, they just, they look good. Oh, I hit the thing. I was just trying to show off the gloves there, but yeah, they, they look pretty sweet. Now, the map. This is awesome. Not only is it just a cool looking map that, you know, to have inside of your chest here, but this is also how you get out of here. You could theoretically, you know, use a teleport spell or something like that to leave this place, but it'll actually kind of break the game. Uh, to leave here, you have to go up to the map and click, or well, rather hit E, on one of the available areas on the map. And so it has all the major holes as well as smaller towns around the place, as well as some key points like High Hrothgar there. And yeah, you just hit E and you'll travel to that place and then you can come back into the player home from there. Now, to come back into the player home, you will have to first unequip it from your uh, inventory there and then re-equip it to come back in to your treasure chest full of hidden secrets. But still, you know, it's not too bad. And of course, you can, you know, easily do that to get in here. So it's not a big deal. And if you are playing a game where, you know, like in my own uh, streaming series, where you can't fast travel, that could be quite useful to be able to just open to wherever you need in these various places on the map. Now that's it for really this room besides the cool aesthetic in here. So let's head on downstairs to Antiquities, which is the proper name for the basement, but I just keep referring to it as the basement because, well, that's effectively what it is. And we have our fa Oh, he's asleep. I was about to say, where'd the cat in the box go? Uh, okay. Hi, cat in the box. I, I love that that is what is down here. <laughs> I mean, sure, all the shrines to get blessings and all is cool, and same with these standing stones, but Need cat something. in the box. I do, my friend, if we do interact with him real quick, just to show off the insane amount mm -hmm. of gold that he does have in yes. his inventory there. So let's just go right on inside, and boom, 10 grand. 10,000 with our cat in the box friend. So he does make for one heck of a good general merchant, which is always nice. And again, you know, just as an added little mm -hmm. bonus, yeah, you got all the shrines in here for you to get yourself a blessing. And of course, the stones to, well, do whatever. I mean, guess I guess technically it is a blessing too, just, you know, a magical one rather than a godly one. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, this is the treasure chest home. It's a weird little thing that I gotta admit, at first I didn't really care for the look of, but this one, the yeah. whole idea of, yeah, carrying around a magical chest. Oh boy, the, the, the mannequins glitched a little more. They're supposed to be standing on top of the septums. Sometimes they go inside of, but yeah, mannequins, they do what they want. But yeah, the original idea was a little bit weird to me, and the look definitely isn't exactly my aesthetic, but I love the idea of a magical chest you can go inside of for a player home. That's so cool. So if you'd like to check this one out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. So hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go take myself over to Solitude. Later, folks.